the budget calendar, uh, an exciting topic. I spent considerable time on this already. Uh, <laughs> far more than my wife would be uh, happy about, I assure you. Okay, basically I've taken the 2018 calendar and made some modifications. Uh, and right now I've got the uh, um, calendar, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Uh, modifications were for holiday adjustments, the holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmas change, um, the budget hearings. Um, we're going to be meeting in the, in the uh, public hearing. Traditionally, we meet in the academy cafeteria, right? Cafeteria, yeah. Not anymore. At least not. I hope not. There's no reason for the cable committee to go through all that setup work and then all that breakdown work for a meeting in which very few people come to speak. And when you look at it, most of the people there are either working on cable TV or they're working for the town, they're department heads and so forth. Aren't they already set up for that? What? Uh, the cable committee? Well, they have to go set up all the equipment at the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. So I want to yeah. avoid all that it's, exercise. That's off-site compared to here. Yeah. Mm. And so, and I'll get into the problems and challenges and how I, how we propose to address them. Uh, I'm going to pop over to here now. I'm going to introduce you to a website which has not been published out on the internet yet. It's on my computer. Okay. Uh, so don't anyone panic. It's <laughs> you remember oldhamptonbud.com, right? Okay. Well, uh, the uh, calendar is is based on these important dates. Now these important dates are coming from the law, as you can see. Uh, all of these dates are embedded in law deadlines for this, deadlines for that. So, go ahead, Frank. Make it larger? Uh, yeah. Complete the dates. <laughs> How's that? Okay. Want it larger still? No, no, fine, fine, thank you. So, uh, essentially, this is just uh, the deadline for petition articles that include bonding, and this is the uh, deadline that we have for putting out a public meeting notice, which is January 8th, and this is the deadline also January 8th, for petition warrant articles that are not binding, are uh, bonded. And January 15 is the deadline in which we must have our public hearing. Now, I put in all this verbiage in here. Essentially, what that says is that you have to have an honor before the third Tuesday in January. So, that is the uh, third Tuesday in January, January 15. Okay? Now, you can continue to have the meeting if you recess, not adjourn, but recess this meeting, all right, and specify when you're going to reconvene at a specified time and location without having to give the required meeting notice of two weeks. That's the key, okay? So in consideration of no one likes going up to Hampton Academy and sitting at what I like to call the Last Supper, you know? You sit at that table, looks like we're all at the Last Supper, doesn't right, it? Yeah. Right. And no one can see each other and everyone's confused about who's saying what and who's voting what way and what not. So I thought, well, gee, it'd be much better if we had it here. All right, there's one problem with that, and that is what if we have a large number of citizens wanting to come in to speak? Okay? And then we have the other issue of the snow. If we have snow, and I need to recess the meeting, how do I be sure I have a quorum so that I can call the meeting open and then recess it immediately to the snow date? All right. So there's what Mike comes in with his big trucks. Mike has agreed to take his big truck out and go collect five of us to come here, open the meeting, and then recess it, and then go home. Okay. And so that we've got the snow date covered. Now, when it comes to a large number of citizens coming to this room that can't accommodate them, we have a contentious article or two or three or whatever. We'll probably know ahead of time. Uh, but even if we don't, if they show up, we'll find out what they're, at, what they're here for primarily. And uh, if there's enough of them, we can say, okay, we're going to reconvene this meeting at this time and location. In the meantime, we're going to take care of all the other Warren articles. And when we reconvene, we're going to be there just to listen to you. So you're going to have our full attention. Right? So I think that's a, that's a good compromise uh, for the citizens that are coming. Even though they might be a little inconvenienced, they're going to be 
better hurt because we're going to be you know a better frame of mind because we're not going to be exhausted going through all these uh, emotions that we have to go through so that's my general theme okay any thoughts on that I, I think it's an excellent idea I've said for years um, it's a lot of work for the Academy yeah. to set up mm -hmm. Frank has staff his principals of staff that have to stay late they're, they're, it's a cafeteria they're gonna put the chairs in order and, mm -hmm. and back and I can tell you in the last 25 years and I've probably missed yeah. three or four of them but before that if we had more than three residents mm -hmm. uh, or four residents and I think it, it Mr. Chairman you bring up another great uh, statement and that is this room has the setup for the conduciveness right. around the table and in the audience mm -hmm. so we have let's say we have 30 people Regina uh, Selectman Barnes can tell you we've had people standing up here and they've right. still had enough room to speak right. so I I think I, I love hearing that I've been saying for years that it, you know going to another venue um, let me ask one quick question so I, I want the public to be clear too when you talk about deadline of January 8th are we getting into uh, are we at that point where we're going to specify deadlines of times because it always was the case that the Warren articles had to be in by five o'clock but we had an issue two years ago where somebody showed up at eight o'clock and put a Warren article at the public hearing I think we have to be very clear because uh, you know residents need to know is it going to be good for them and others let, let us be right up front right away so well this is what actually yeah. spurned this consideration in its entirety you know two years ago and for the last several years we've been having our public hearing meetings the night after the final day yeah. for p petition submissions right so when they come in late we're totally blindsided and like we were two years ago sure. absolutely no one had a clue that that warrant article was coming in it was a fairly big big warrant article and it, it got people upset frankly you know it was this last minute routine um after we had a battle the year before over that same subject, right? Like, yeah, and, right. and so one of the one of the problems I had because I've been raising this with the prior chairmen almost every year, you know why we haven't so. And their argument has always been, well, what if it snows? We need to have time because we have this two-week notice thing. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I found in the law a way around that by recess. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So with that in play, we can now wait not one day but eight days after the deadline. This gives us a much larger window of opportunity to see what's in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did I address what you were? Concerned yeah, with? and and I think it goes back to and, and I'm a I'm a big stickler for rules and regulations. And if it's you know five o'clock on the Friday before filing ends and and you come in at five o five, you don't get to sign up for office. We have the same requirement, which has been back to the early days of history of Hampton. That <coughs> five p.m. has been the submit submittal date. It's middle time and the date posted. Well, uh, Brian, you know, I, we've got to be clear here because, you know, Tom Anders used to say every year, we're, you have until 5 p.m., 5 p.m., right, 5 p.m. Well, yeah. well, it turns out the actual law says you have till midnight. And that's what I was going to say. So as long as the that. public, that's correct. Yeah. Well, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But as long as the public knows that, that somebody could come in at 7 o'clock. Well, since that upset two years ago, the Tom Anders has now been making that point. Okay, good. So he's, yeah. he's that's all I'm saying. As long everybody. as we communicate. Yeah. Right. That's so good. The Tom Anders has made a cl more clear statement annually on that so thank you yeah, okay. 11 59. yeah that's correct <laughs> but I like your idea uh, about the recess absolutely okay. and and plus you're on live TV yeah. so a lot of people watch this and they're gonna know right away that oh I don't have to get in my galoshes and come down to town hall and mr. chairman has said the date is going to be the following I think people will be fine with that we may we may even decide I mean it's possible that you know we may observe that some Warren article or a collection, a small collection of Warren articles, are going to in, in, uh, engender a lot of people wanting to come in. So we may actually, in advance, tell them, you know, we're going to actually have two separate hearings, and this separate hearing is going to be just for these Warren articles that are going to be topical. Uh, we may want to do that, and we'll see how things progress. But we have uh, uh, until January 23 mm -hmm. to finish our work. Because on January 4, 24, as you see, we have to submit our results to the selectmen. That's, that's a drop-dead deadline on the statute. Well, I, I just want to compliment Selectman Barnes, too, because I have to tell you, and she does a great job communicating and announces meetings on a regular basis, whether it's local, mm -hmm. statewide, countywide, issues that are important to us. And that, 
And she does a good job at that. And I think that's what the, the public is so right for that now. I mean, whether it's through social media or additional communicative needs, I think it's great. And I, I applaud um, Selectman Barnes because I, I'm, I'm about all about communication. That's why in 96 we sat here and we got the cable going. And, and I think it's just so great that we do that. And I like where we're going with all of this. So, so normally we get these important dates from NHMA, but they hadn't done them yet for 2019. So I had to go through the law and calm them out. And while I was doing that, I thought, you know, there really ought to be a program for this. Mm. So I wrote one. You, you wrote one. And so that's where you see this here. You can actually select any year, and it will give you the dates for that year. Wow, that's great. Very nice. That's very nice. So it's that's cool. Data arithmetic. Okay. That's, that's great. So, yeah. It makes the job easier for the poor chairman who's going to follow me <laughs> to, <laughs> to not have to deal with this nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that I have had to deal with. Okay, so uh, now for the actual uh, meeting schedule. Um, these are all the dates that I have reserved. They, they are reserved, <laughs> period, with, with one exception. I have not contacted SAU 90 yet to get uh, reservations for the uh, Hampton Academy cafeteria. Um, oh, there, those reservations are all snow dates anyway. I cannot imagine we're going to have a crowd that cannot be accommodated in here. I agree. Given that we're going to have multiple dates possible anyway. Absolutely. But still, I thought, you know, just to be on the safe side, let's get them reserved. And uh, so they're on this list. Uh, and these uh, department references in here are all just grabbed from last year. They're, they're, they have no commitment of any kind. Just put it in placeholder. Yeah. yeah. Placeholder, exactly. The other thing on this is uh, our first workshop is scheduled for November 6th, as you see. Um, and I believe, Regina, when we met with town management, that they agreed that we would have the budget books done uh, by that date. Like, <laughs> like yeah, I think they said, I believe Christy did say Halloween. Yeah. So. Right, right. So we can be sure to have it. <laughs> <laughs> so so if not. she says so, I'm... I tend to believe sure. that we will have them. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we've got, uh, let's see, five, four, three, two. We've got, we'll definitely have them, uh, books published on Friday uh, uh, prior to this meeting on the 6th, right? And um, if you want, we can make a motion saying we request that. Um, but I don't feel that's necessary. Do you, Regina? I don't feel so, no. Yeah, yeah I don't. Um, also, there was a commitment via request that I had made that, you know, we've been getting the Excel spreadsheet. The, the budget book is generated through an Excel spreadsheet, okay? And we've been getting a copy of this Excel spreadsheet. And so I requested uh, from Christy whether or not she could send that Excel spreadsheet in advance of publishing the book, because it takes a couple days to publish the book. Yep. So it, it ought to be a few days at least before we actually get the physical book that the Excel spreadsheet will be available to us. So we'll be able to start reviewing the numbers, okay? Yeah, as long as we still get the spreadsheet. Yeah, we're gonna get the spreadsheet first this time, yeah. and then the budget book. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I've already noted the first public hearing begins on January 15, right? Okay. So I think I've exhausted myself regarding Oh, let me confirm that by looking at this thing here. Yes, I did. I've exhausted myself when it comes to budget administration, budget committee administration. Uh, any general thoughts or comments on what you've just heard about the administration of this committee? No rotten eggs with rotten me? <laughs> no. Nope. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I like it. Okay. I do too. Yeah. It's very yeah. streamlined, very positive. Yeah, very readily upbeat. available. <laughs> Good job. 1226 in here for a meeting. Uh, do I? Yeah. Well, let me, is, let me check. Is that, that a boo boo? Or What's that, Mike? Twelve twenty-six. Oh yeah, <laughs> after Christmas. It's a snow day. It's uh. Yeah, that was the other thing you for bringing that up. Okay. Um, it's also a Wednesday too. Traditionally, <laughs> you know, we all have budget committee meetings on the third Tuesday of every month, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, sometimes maybe a Wednesday. The third Tuesday of the month is like the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've had that before. Guess what? We've had the meeting anyway. 
I'm not real thrilled with that. And uh, and so if you look at the, uh, the calendar here, I've got meetings scheduled for uh, the 28th, because uh, Thanksgiving on the 24th. Yeah. The 28th, uh, December 4th, December 6th, December 13th, December 18th. I believe that as we approach November, uh, we can decide we're not going to have Thanksgiving week meeting, so we can all enjoy Thanksgiving week like we ought to. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to throw that out to you. That's my objective. And as far as the day after Christmas is concerned, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I I expect that that Christmas week will also be uh, yeah. held mm -hmm. sacrosanct. But our work has to has to really dictate it. So right. we have to wait until. Okay, so that's just a snow day. Okay. Don't panic, okay, I was just. No, I thank you for bringing that. Questioning up. it. 